Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Chrono Cross! There's just a few more things that I want to show off in the game here. Uh, first, I'd like to show off the only triple tech that I can. Uh, unfortunately, due to the way I recruited everyone, I'm not going to be able to show off the other triple tech. Uh, we're not going to be going through that again. Yay! We get a new party member! More party members! More party members! Yay! New party members! More 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 party members! members! Yoo-hoo! Sure! Why not? More party members! Of course! More party members! 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 What next? Newborns? More party members! A newborn! How much younger can you get? More party members! More party members! Yay! Final party member! More party members! All party members! Woohoo! Wow, that does get a little annoying after a while. Oh well, I had fun with it. So let's get into a battle here. Now last time, I forgot to mention that uh, you can learn doppelgangs from Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. That's one of the reasons why I, uh, what did I do? That's one of the reasons why I had the Forget-Me-Not pot equipped on Surge there. So let's uh, doppelgang Slash there. Slash is the only one that really matters because that's the one I need to use this triple tech here. So let's get that set up there. That's one of the things I like about uh, Chrono Cross compared to Chrono Trigger, how they handled the, the dual and triple techs. Because, I mean, let's be honest, dual and triple techs are just not that practical in either game, really. But at least in this game, they said, okay, we're just going to make triple techs, you know, a novelty thing. We're not going to be, you know giving you so many of them and make it seem like we're trying to make it really useful because let's be honest it isn't all that useful but i mean yeah i mean if you're going to sacrifice a player's turn to you know have two people do one attack commit all your resources into one basket you should deal at least 20 25 percent more damage than using the single text alone which neither game did so kind of disappointed with that but Oh well, it's not the end of the world. I'm just saying that, you know. Let's use our triple tech here. Z slash Zoro! Holy cow! And that was on a red elemental. That didn't kill him? Wow. I thought he only had like 2,000 HP. Okay, well that's everything I wanted to here, so let's get out of here. So yeah, I just figured I'd just, uh show you that. Kind of weird having that music playing during, uh, during a battle there. Huh. Well, whatever. But yeah, the only other triple tech in the game that I could show, like I was saying, involves, uh, recruiting, uh, or, yeah, she's, well, you have to let Rosetta die, essentially. Oh, I don't want her. Uh, where's the one I want? There we go. Thank you. But yeah, I would have to let Rosetta die by, uh, I, I think I have to bring, uh, so you have to choose to save kid, recruit, uh, what's her name? Recruit Razley. So, okay, let, uh, yeah, choose to save kid, let, or, yeah, choose to save kid, save Razley, br uh, don't use Razley to fight the Hydra, let, uh, let's see. Then you gotta bring Razley with you to, the drag the water dragon isle and then that will allow red or rosetta to die and then you can get her level seven tech way later in the game by returning to the water dragon isle i think you have to do it after finishing the events at chronopolis i forget but yeah yeah so it involves a lot of effort in playing the game 
specifically, I would have had to forego showing uh, Glenn getting dual Iron Lancers because then I wouldn't have. I would have had to not recruit Glenn, and well, there's no way I was skipping that. So anyway, what I'm doing here is there's one more thing I want to show you guys, and that is the remaining level seven techs for the party members that I did not recruit the first time around. Uh, Mel learns hers automatically, so I don't need to show anything for her, and, well, I can't show Razzlix, so, uh, is Nikki around here? Huh. That's weird. Maybe he's in the room downstairs. Okay. I guess I made a wrong turn. What? Oh, there we go. Well, I didn't, uh, expect this. I was just going to have Nicky talk to himself and get his level 7 tech, but yeah, where'd that come from? It was like magical dreamers, kind of like radical dreamers. You stole it from me! Huh. Well, yeah, I'll be honest, the gothic look doesn't work for me. I'll, I'll be honest with you. There you go. I'm glad you're happy. I did not know this cutscene existed. I, I'm, this is totally impromptu, viewers. I, I had no idea. I just figured, yeah, let's just bring Kit along just because she was there at the time. Who are you talking about? Oh. I guess maybe that was Kit who was inspired Nikki to uh, name the band that way. Gosh, I hope I'm going to have enough time to do everything else. There we go. Okay, now Nikki's here. I was expecting Nikki to be here the whole time and just move along, but well, there you are, viewers. But yeah, in order to uh, well, let's just move along here. Sure, let's have a great jam session with uh, the two of them. Raspberry. No, no, not raspberry. Not that kind of jam. So yeah, basically, if you have, uh, once you get Nikki back after the getting Surge back in the whole Fort Dragonia sequence, then uh, you can bring Nikki back here and they have a little jam session. I did not know about that scene with Kid and Nikki there, though. That, that totally took me by surprise. No one told me about it. I mean, I'm not blaming anyone, but we still get Nikki's level 7 tech, Limelight. All right. So now there's a couple other level 7 techs that I wanted to show you that I couldn't get before. So I'll just, uh, we'll return to another world and then get them. Okay, we're back in another world in Termina here. So once you get Serge's body back, you can bring Korcha along here if you recruited him. And remember that mermaid tank that we, uh, or that Korcha was talking about way earlier in the game? You gotta talk to it with Korcha in your party here. So, we'll be coming back there in just a moment, but let's head on over here and visit Karsh's old room and the guy who's living there now, Pierre. Since I uh, have brought him into my party now. Just gonna go through the dialogue real quickly here, nothing special. He's not a hero after all. Oh well. But if you got that prop sword at Chronopolis, it becomes a hero's blade and gives Pierre his level 7 tech, Slap of Cyrus. Nice nod to the first game there. Apparently, Pierre's idea of becoming a hero or training to be a hero is running around in circles. Of course, I suppose that is what we do in RPGs as heroes. Now, if you come back to the mermaid tank, no one's inside. I wonder what happened there. But there's one more thing that we can do since the mermaid escaped in Chrono Cross, and that'll be everything. I hope you've enjoyed the adventure in the world of El Nido. Let me know how, how, what you thought of how I handled such a lengthy game. And tell me what were some of your favorite moments in this series. Thank you for helping me escape from that tank. Man, I'm going to miss this game and all the bad accents in the game. 
it was a great four and a half month journey, and I really enjoyed playing it four consecutive times over the last year. Over 170 videos, just wow, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Great fun, good times. Apparently, the mermaid realized that no one was going to rescue her if she was just going to sit on her ass the whole time. I mean, you'd figure in the world of RPGs, guys would be lining up to save her, but I guess with a fish bottom, what are you going to do with her? But for rescuing her, we get Cortez level 7 tech. Big catch. All right. So that's everything we can do in Chrono Cross. I'm going to be taking some time off to catch up on some things in real life, work on some other projects, and then begin my next Let's Play series. This is H.C. Bailey, and I'm not a maniac. Signing off. Have a good day.